Hello and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to yet again another video. I'm back here again on youtube.com with another video, and today we are going to be building a cute little horse stables. Now, this idea came from one of you guys. You left me an amazing comment suggesting to put some cute little, like, riding stables near the campsite so the campers can go horseback riding. And you know what? I did it. I did it. It was an amazing idea. And you know what else is amazing? Subscribing to the YouTube channel, to, to my channel. I would so much appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. I, oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Okay, but enough of me blabbing. Let's get into it. First, I'm making my way downtown walking fast because i wanted to replace this boring regular campfire with a leaf campfire just because like it's objectively cuter i mean like look at those marshmallows then another replacement i just wanted to replace this tree stump with a mush log and i know you're wondering is this related to the build we're about to do uh it's not it's it's not at all um i put down some leaves and then i had a little bit of cleanup that i wanted to do around the area just like a bunch of stuff that was kind of bothering me that i wanted to pick up if only i did this irl instead of letting things pile up for weeks in all areas of my home am i right <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't that be so great next i'm finally fixing up the other side of this diagonal path um i made the other custom design so we're good to go i know the grass doesn't exactly match right now but that's because i time traveled to august and i made this for july so yeah it matches trust me i just gotta go back then after going absolutely ham on some apples i started clearing out the area for our stables let's go we're finally working on the actual build my friends <laughs> now that we have that housekeeping out of the way so we're gonna do what god intended for us to do which is to um you know push push some furniture around in animal crossing and i know you're asking trees <laughs> trees don't stand a chance on this island give me a shovel i'm not afraid to use it well except for that one you can stay patty's house was literally in the way of everything i don't know why she put it there i didn't do that so i had to ask her if i could please move it and i yeah i i put her on the beach i ordered some items really quick before going to the next day yeeted myself out and now we're moving my precious winnie to our build location since her house is going to be the base of the stables and on my way back i stumbled across arguably the cutest moment in my entire animal crossing career which is my precious baby punchy in the rain with a frog umbrella who was gonna tell me that he had a frog umbrella because nobody told me this information what the heck anyway i put down winnie's house and started to get to work but you know got distracted by punchy again i mean like can you blame me like can you blame me look at this handsome man look at him you're gonna look at me and you're gonna tell me that i'm wrong After time traveling again, I went ahead and downloaded some codes for the horses in the stables. I didn't want to use too many codes because this is most likely the only place where I'll be using them. And I didn't want to waste too many design slots, you know. So if I have extra slots later on, I'll definitely get some more horses. But for now, we're just going to stick with these two that I chose. And after downloading these, I realized I had zero simple panels to put them on. So I had to run and go order some. Thankfully, I had them in my catalog. And after customizing them, we're good to go we can finally actually get to work now. I started off by playing around with the simple panels and the storefront item because I thought that combination would be the best for making a stable. Unfortunately, I was not a horse girl growing up, so I don't really have like all that horse girl knowledge, even though I did like My Little Pony. But if you know, then you know, it's, it's not the same. It's really not. I was obsessed with Care Bears. Care Bears and Dora the Explorer were kind of like my ride or die shows and movies like that I had birthday parties for. Like I had themed birthday parties for both of them. Yes, it's a flex. Yes, my mom is amazing for throwing me those parties. Love you, mom. And all of like the throwback. Oh my goodness, this reminds me. All the throwback and nostalgia branding like nowadays is so influential for me personally because they are putting Care Bears on absolutely everything now and they're doing that classic Care Bear style, which is my favorite, and I can't, I can't stop myself when I see my favorite Care Bear on a makeup palette. Okay, <laughs> companies, uh, they figured it out. They're literally so smart. They pack away their old shows and characters into a vault for like 15 years, and then they just bring them back and just prey on everyone's nostalgia. And you know what? It works, and very effectively. I am, I am very influenced. Anyway, I had to scurry on over to Harv's Island real quick for some customizing, but before you know it, we were back in business, baby, and making this stable feel more complete. 
gates with another gazebo. I've been having a lot of fun making these little buildings. Well, this is like the first building that I've made, the first and only building that I've made like with these uh, different items, like the gazebos and the storefronts and everything, but it was still a lot of fun. I feel like I didn't have too much of an opportunity to do this on Leapfrog because I wanted to use such bright, you know, colors on Leapfrog and these storefronts are, excuse me, it's raining outside. I don't know why I said excuse me as if like I just burped or something. Uh, no, the sky is burping. I don't have to apologize for that. So you know what? I won't. Sky, say say excuse me yourself. Anyways, I wanted to use a nice bright colors for Leapfrog, my Kidcore Island. In case you're new here, I had a Kidcore Island before I was doing this island and it was very colorful, very much rainbow vibes. And I feel like the storefronts are very kind of like natural looking and more muted. Like the, they do have some color options, but they're not exactly what I was looking for in terms of the brightness, the vibrancy, you know, the rainbow of vibes. So I feel like there's a much bigger and better opportunity here on Storybrooke, which is more of a natural, homey, rustic island to use these items. So that's very exciting to me. And I know looking at this, it's kind of a little bit repetitive with these horses. I only chose two designs. So I am leaning more towards getting some extra horses, maybe just like one more design in there to break it up. I just know that I, I probably won't use this anywhere else. I guess I could make an effort to use it on another place on my island so the custom designs aren't such a quote unquote waste, even though it's not a waste. Like this area is very, very cute, but you know what I mean? It feels, it, f it feels bad to take up a whole spot for like one custom design that you use like one time in one spot of your island. So I definitely need to make an effort to use these more at the very least if I'm going to add another one, which I kind of do want to do because it, I feel like that would make it look a lot more natural. Like horse stables like they you know they have a bunch of different horses they don't just have the same horses that all look the same right i've never even seen a horse stable in real life before so i'm just making assumptions you know the only horse girl movie that i ever watched was racing stripes so that's all i'm going off of and that didn't even have a horse it was a zebra so my knowledge is very limited in this scenario anyway just using some fun items here like this little water pump and a bucket to be like the horse water bucket i don't know how you the horses drink um and just using barrels everywhere because barrels are they the perfect decorating item yes i believe so and i also wanted to use the hay beds a lot i wish we had like some actual like hay bales like like round ones aren't there round hay bales i really wish we had those the hay beds will do for now and you know they're super easy to craft and just put everywhere i wish you could place items on top of them oh what I would give to be able to place items on top of hay bales. So, so many things, so many things. At least my left pinky toe, like bare minimum. I also wanted this area to be very walkable. I know I keep saying that about all my builds. I said that for the campsite. I walk through my own campsite. It's not walkable. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, I It didn't turn out walkable. So I was making an extra effort to make this actually walkable. I mean, like the campsite is walkable, but it's a little, I'm bumping into stuff, right? Left and right, you know? So I was trying to make a bigger effort for this area to kind of be like a transition space and, you know, you actually pass between it because there's the path to the right, there's the campsite to the left, and there's a little beach portion on the bottom. So this is, you know, this is definitely an area that's going to be walked around in a lot. So I didn't want to put stuff all up in the path. You know, I, I know I say that every time, but I was, I, I was trying extra hard this time, okay? <laughs> so I didn't want to go too crazy with fencing, even though I feel like that would kind of fit because I feel like if you got a lot of horses you got a lot of fences I was thinking I might try to put some sort of fencing contraption finagle thingy on the beach like it could be like I don't know isn't there like a little like a little maze not a maze I don't know what it's called but like a little riding trail maybe that you take horses through like I don't know I figured I could try to make something like that on the beach even though it's a really small portion of beach so I don't know what I could do but I'm thinking we can maybe do it you know maybe it's just a smaller little portion these are mini horses something like that I don't know but I'm just working on this little area this kind of like walking area from that like main diagonal path and this is what you take to walk down into the area so i wanted to make sure this was walkable this is probably the least walkable area the most cluttered area just because i was like oh, all this empty space whenever i see empty space i'm like no 
it doesn't look right i don't like it fill it up fill it up with custom designs fill it up with weeds i don't want this empty space here that's my least favorite thing on my islands i'm like no raven why did you leave this empty space fill it up with something what the heck put a custom design put some dirt do something i mean even when you look outside there's not just beautiful manicured grass most of the time unless you're in some like fancy neighborhood or something there's sticks there's leaves there's a little mushroom that's growing up out of the ground there's like a little squirrel at the base of a tree there's some flowers there's a weird bug in the grass that you're kind of scared of but you just walk around it you know there's clutter irl okay so that's my excuse for putting clutter on my island it's a reflection of reality it just reflects our everyday surroundings and environment at least my everyday surroundings and environment <laughs> maybe this reflects a little bit too much about me you know but i was just trying to be conservative but at the same time make it so the area looks nice and filled up i feel like the best option for that is custom designs and those leaf piles and flowers things that you can walk through that don't physically impede you from taking another step you know because that's always really annoying I grabbed some of these really cute fruit and vegetable boxes, mainly the apple ones to use in this design. I thought it was a really cute touch to just have like a little bushel of apples near the little stables. So I grabbed that and I put a few of them down. Winnie was also here checking it out, which I was very grateful for. She was kind of like quality control inspector, you know, she was like, okay, Raven, you know, this looks decently humane, so I'll allow it. And I was like, okay, thanks Winnie. You know, I can always count on you so much, girl. I was just trying to think of things that would like go in a state area again no experience here I only watched the zebra horse movie I don't have the experience the knowledge the know-how I've only ridden a horse like twice in my life once was at a little birthday party that I had again my mom with the birthday parties they she got like mini ponies to come and we we rode mini ponies but that doesn't really count you know it was like a mini pony I was a small child you don't do any of the, the controlling or the handling or anything and the other time was at a summer camp and they did let us do the controlling and the handling but the horse didn't want to control or handle so i just i had to be guided because i didn't know how to do it so I, I, the little experience that i had very bad not not good at all no experience was given to me on those days do i know how to drive a horse now no i i absolutely do not the one horse that i ever drove like was malfunctioning so you know i wasn't taught these things they just plop you on a horse they give you some brief instructions and they they expect you to figure it out like what it's an animal if it doesn't want to listen to me what what am i supposed to do you know so anyway just putting some final touches the weeds the boots like riding boots i thought that would be really cute uh mostly weeds and yeah we're we're just pretty much done i thought it came out really cute not too much going on in my opinion for me for a build this is not too much for a froggy crossing build this is not that much going on but I still feel like it was really cute and the areas that you do have to walk the pathing was pretty decently open You know, hopefully we're not getting stuck and tripping on everything. We got like two spaces of walkable space, which is great progress Okay, Tipper, should we should we tell them should we tell them? I don't I don't know. Oh, oh, hey, hey guys. Uh, sorry. I was just I was just talking to Tipper um, yeah, she says that you should subscribe if you didn't. Uh, yeah, I'll let them know. Thank you, Tipper. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you liked it and all of my silly talking today. Thank you again for your suggestions. Sometimes you guys really, really inspire me. Actually, a lot of time you really, really inspire me. So thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.